myself, Babyface Joel Salmon, Mikey Meatballs, went to see 80 for Brady. We had old lady wigs on Friday afternoon. I said, guys, we have to do it. We have to do it. Uh, we just have to set an example. When you lose, when you dip into the cap of consequences and you lose a bet, as we did, we came in last in a um, fantasy playoff competition amongst the staff, we had to do it. And your son, Mikey Meeple, really seemed to agonize throughout the full hour and a half. Oh, he hated it. He, and then Babyface put his hand on his thigh and that was it. He was like, get me the hell out of here. No. <laughs> No, I thought but, it was popcorn. I thought it was the popcorn. Michael, what, what, Michael, what, what did comment did you make about Brady with this? All Mahomes has to do now is not make a movie, and he surpasses Brady. That's it. <laughs> it was bad for me because a we lost the bet. We had to wear wigs and go to a movie in the middle of uh, a Friday in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, B, I'm like reliving another lost bet. I was all over the Falcons and the game centers around, or the movie centers around them getting to the Super Bowl, the 28-3 game. And so they show the whole comeback. I'm like, oh, I'm losing two bets here now because I have to relive this. Lily Tomlin gets on the, um, she gets in somehow in Brady's headset and he picks up his helmet. And now she's like talking to Brady and he now spots her in the coordinator's booth. And she gives this inspirational speech to this guy who's already won five Super Bowls, but he needs to hear oh. from Lily Tomlin how to make this comeback. And then Brady announces, I'm sorry, Michael, you're gonna have to take this. He says, let's go after the last little talk. And I went nuts, right? Right, babyface. I went nuts in the theater when he said that. Well, I thought, yeah, that's when I got nervous that we, you were going to give uh, someone a heart attack in the theater because there was a. <laughs> oh, I went crazy. They weren't I prepared so for that. Excited. That actually really was the ending of the movie. It should automatically be a zero on Rotten Tomatoes, and anybody who liked that movie is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>